Hello everybody, I'm Satsu Luis Nogueira Serrano, President of the European Boys Society and it's a great pleasure to me introduce here on my left to Nelson Sam, Texas representative from the North American Boogay Society and we are here discussing a very very deep studies that we have in our tradition. In this case we are dealing about strategy and mainly what it's called Sendia. Then I have bring here a one Okuden Makimono, the Okuden no Sho, that is the most uh, deepest tradition that we have, the deepest tradition that we have in our, in our school. Then um, I want to, to show him some details about what is written in the Makimono and we, could, uh, we, we will discuss uh, several uh, several points regarding these subjects that we will find in this makimono. Then we have here the Okuden makimono, Nelson-san, Okuden no Sho, that is the, the document for the um, deeper or deepest tradition of our lineage. Then when we open, we have the name of our school, Kasenori no Sho. It's a document from our school, Kasenori. We have here when we start to open to roll. We have here the Ogawa Kasuku no Kakei. That it's all the lineage that all the Ogawa line that uh, uh, has been before us from uh, Ogawa Hisimaru to the last one that is Yamori Kawasuki in this in this in this in this side. Okay. okay. Then after this, we are going to the point that uh, we want to discuss today, that it's the, uh, the Dento no Bujutsu. When we are talking about Bujutsu, we are talking about uh, the arts of war, not only concerning uh, the way of the skills that you have, especially uh, drawing a sword or, uh, or uh, fighting with, with your hands or whatever. No, no, we are talking about the way to behave in war in several circumstances, of course, employing some weapons, but also with all the rest of the characteristics that could have on this on this uh, on this topic. Then, first of all, reading the subjects that we have, and we will stop in the right point that we want to discuss today. We have Kenjutsu, the art of swords, okay. Yajutsu, uh, the art of uh, being. Uh, at encounter at union, Bato Jutsu, the art of drawing the sword, and the fourth one, this is the very important uh, point, is Senryaku. What is Senryaku? Because many people could get confused about that. Senryaku, this Sen comes from Ikusa, that means war. And this Ryaku, it's like an omission, it's like a mission of war, but join it, the both kanji, the both characters mean something like. A strategy. Mm -hmm. This strategy of the Senryaku is the point of the most ancient tradition of, of uh, employing the strategy in real combat, in real war. Remember that the Sisen were indigenous people that tried to many times for, for centuries to escape for, from the attacks from the, uh, from the Sogun, from the feudal Japan. This is why they were uh, weak in comparison to the to the forces to the armies of the Japan, but of course they have to develop ways to defend, ways to surprise mm -hmm. the enemy in uh, this kind of situation of invasion. Then, of course, the most uh, the, the most weak uh, people were the women who were the children, and especially what they were called the Sisa, that are the messengers. Yeah. The Sisa are the messengers of our tradition. Then the messengers are people uh, spread uh, around the woods, around the, uh, around the paths, in order to watch around and uh, observe if uh, someone is trying to, some kind of signal, of token of uh, some kind of invasion. Mm -hmm. Then of course, uh, sometimes they were also surprised and need to escape from that, of course, because if they get captured, they will be tortured in order to explain, uh, maps all the information that they have, how to run by the forest, run by the path, 
and leading all the armies to the to the to the village to the to the town. Then, in this way, uh, the Sendri Aku are the methods. There's a broad study that covers several methods how to get away, how to escape, and how to uh, how to uh, lie in this kind of situation in order to war purpose. In our tradition, we have to understand that we have on the studies of strategy three main branches. Okay. The first one is called Gungaku. This Gun comes from military. Okay. And this Gaku comes from study. It's also known as a strategy, but these Gungaku are the ways to move the armies in war. It's how to deal with real battlefront and how to uh, how to create the strategies, moving the armies, employing the archers, employing whatever you have around. Then, this Gungaku is not particular from the inner tradition of ourselves. It's something that we studied when the Orlinets started to be mixed, uh, to be spread in Japan. Mm -hmm. Then they started to get clandestine their studies, but they mix with the Japanese tradition. Then they get the Gungaku studies, but the main strategy ways are the Senryaku. Uh, this Senryaku was, uh, the, this is the second branch, that uh, after when this information were mixed is the way to how to prepare, how to be ready for the war, how to, to prepare some kind of war scenery. Mm -hmm. But of course, when we are dealing with this Senryaku, in this case, we are talking about uh, the way to, uh, to have a strategy in this kind of war situations. The third branch and the last one is what is called Boyaku. Okay. This Bo is like a stratagem, a strategy but including lies. It's more related to, uh, to information. Because this kind of, of lying that you could find in this kind of strategy that it's Senryaku, it's more like boy. So looking at the effects that you could find on the trees, making some kind of, uh, of traps. It's the trapping situation and ways to escape, ways to, de uh, to defend, ways to, uh, to lie completely the enemy, mm -hmm. etc. But not regarding information. The information, it's more like Boryaku. This is the third branch of the strategy side, and it's a wide study covering eight years of study. Then, after, uh, after this, we have Kakuto no Bujutsu, that is reality. We have the Taijutsu, including Aiki Jujutsu, Kumiuchi, Jujutsu, Kenpo, Kopo Jutsu, and uh, all the Koryu Seite Gata, that we have the Yari, etc., etc. But the, uh, the matter today, it's about the Senryaku. Okay, uh, this Senryaku, as I have introduced before, it's uh, the way of fighting of the Shisha, uh, or the, the way to escape in the Shisha. The Shisha were messengers that right. carry information, and also were used by children to escape from this. The origins of the Senryaku, of this Senryaku studies ca came from the, what it's called Okunin, this oku that comes from deep, and nin are from uh, it comes from hito that is person. This oku nin were people that knows the way to behave in these kind of situations and escape. Then of course they learn how to employ the trunks. They uh, now how to employ maybe the sands in order to to throw on the on the ice and several. It, they are like kata, but not kata defined. It's like methods to employ, to employ all this information and to bring uh, an advantage in war situations or this kind of defeating the invasion of the, of the armies. So using all this natural environment. Natural environment and of course some kind of tricks, right. traps that you could find like, like Falling in the ground or, or pits. on the yeah, pits, yeah. etc. All these methods, like for example, having uh, making uh, some kind of stratagem in order to lie someone and fall in a pit, or right. a pitfall, or all these studies, the way to how to prepare, 
how to add, add mm -hmm. uh, make the the interpretation of all these uh, strategies, it's studied under Senri app. Okay. This is a very important part of for Bujutsu or Bujutsu uh, study. Then I uh, I will explain you in the today four different methods okay. of the broad study, four different methods of this Senriaku. I wanted to start with this makimono that is from Shidoji, property of Shidoji Odan. Then is the, this is why he is the last one here on the lineage. Then uh, I wanted to show in order to go into deep studies and I hope you enjoy and you, and you like this kind of method. Sure. Have you any question? No, sure. I'm interested to see. Right, then let's go. Thank you very much. Hello again to everybody. We are here with uh, Shibuchon Nelson Sam. And let's go to these particular studies concerning uh, Senryaku. In these four methods that we are going to study right now, it's very important because our advanced methods, I will try to explain all ways to deceive. Uh, to deceive and make some kind of cheating to the to the enemy, but before this we have to set up all environment and what's the context in order to uh, develop all these methods. Because if you try to do in a some kind of situation that it's far away from the purpose of the method, of course it won't work. Then, of course, we have to understand the uh, the environment and the uh, common life that the season will have and the common circumstances and situation that they they will uh, they have in front. Then the first method of this Sendiaku is called Kyogaku. Kyogaku means to surprise, to, to, to give some kind of surprise but a way to 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 fear. It's something like uh, bringing a, a fearing surprise or to a shock value. A shock, yeah. Then, uh, this was when sentinel situations in first, this is the, 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 the beginning, the starting point for this method. They employed this, uh, some kind of Japanese mask, of course, this is not a Japanese mask, but something that could uh, be similar to some kind of oni, some kind of demons, that of course a mystic, uh, a mystic people, like the Japanese will fear this kind of situation. Then, for instance, they used to, in a sentinel, imagine that you are a sentinel covering some kind of gate, mm -hmm. and I will employ some kind of like uh, this, I will wear this, uh, this mask, but this mask I will take out in order to explain. This mask was not offering, because if you come by this way, you will take a look and you will say, oh, uh, this is a man, right. <laughs> okay? But if I cover this kind of deceit uh, with, for example, a casa, I have here this, and I will bring this mask, and at the same time, I will be hiding the mask, okay? When I am that way, of course, you don't expect anything from me. You expect that I am a regular man bringing a casa. Maybe you are aware because I am getting closer to you, but this is why what happens here, because if I have some kind of demon mask, you will, be, you will get surprised. But then when I come closer to you, sorry, I will last time, put the mask on my face, I have the hat here, the casa, and I will be coming. When I arrive here, I saw my face, it's a demon face, and you will, of course, get some kind of surprise. In that situation, I take out and I spit some kind of uh, pepper that you have in your mouth, and you spit it into the eyes in order to generate some kind of... Uh, blinding agent. Blinding, blinding. And at the same time, when I have this going up, I spit and at the same time take a knife and stab, stab, repeatedly in order to, to kill the enemy. Hi. This was regularly employed in some kind of uh, circumstances when the sentinel is trying to cover some gate. But of course, it was also employed, for example, in situations that you will be following me or surrounding me. 
when I try to take you some, to some kind of trap, mm -hmm. I am leading you, you are following me, I have the mask, in, I, I live here, the, the hat, I have the mask here, you believe that I am a man, but when I have my mask and I turn, you get surprised, take out and spit again, taking the knife and stabbing. But of course, you are not in a point like you are uh, comfortable. You will need to run, I will take your air, you will be maybe excited because you don't know, because maybe you are far away from your enemies, you are in a unknown environment, then I have let maybe running, keeping away from you, and when you think that you are close to me, I turn back, saw my face, get out, I'll take out, spit, and uh, thrusting with and stabbing with the knife or the kind of weapon that you have in order to surprise. This is what is called Kyogaku. But of course, this kind of strategy is employed with Sendiaku. It's employed in a lot of situations. Sometimes people, skilled people, used to change the, the mask. They have the capability that have some mask and at the same time take and have another mask and you can't see the mask. It's some kind of skill, some right. kind of, uh, this, of, this, of these tricks. Right. Okay? And uh, some of them, they were more artificial things, maybe uh, with, a long, with long noses, mm -hmm. having a fire, like uh, some kind of explosives on the nose or maybe oh, wow. near the ears in order to get more surprising. But of course, we are dealing in situations that maybe it's dark, maybe it's in the night, yeah. and uh, the people were maybe very, very focused on following the one, maybe focused on keeping safe the gate, mm -hmm. But of course, this is a surprising method that keep all of them like this kind of the seed. Mm -hmm. And this is a very, very important uh, method on this end. Yeah. I don't know if you have any doubt regarding this. Just one question, so uh, please. Would, would they use what would be commonly known as folkloric legend? Yeah. So people of the area would know of folklores of certain demons, certain onis. Would they employ that method to use to scare of course, all folklore, all cultural mm. uh, uh, beliefs are employing this kind of uh, of this because, of course, if they uh, if they provoke uh, some uh, a fear right. to the forest, a fear that maybe some kind of demon. This was also very very employed by these young sisa and these children because. Of course, about the weight, about having some kind of special clothes, mm -hmm. they became like demons because some of them have the mask appear on one side, hide another appear on the other side by the, with the same clothes, mm -hmm. and after they right. change the, 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 the clothes, they, they, they change the clothes to the other one, and, and be like a lot of demons around of you, and of course, the folklore, the beliefs, the mysticism of right. this era make them to fear and this is the best uh, advantage that you have in war. Right. And this is called Kyogaku. Not only the employing the mask, but this kind of, uh, of deceit. This following one is called Asamuku. This is a very, very wide method and you will like for sure. I will leave here the mask. I will, I will take out from our place here, because now we are going to uh, be near of this, of course, this is a column, a pile, and we have this kind of bamboo and perpendicular line, of course. Mm -hmm. When you are <laughs> looking at this, it doesn't seem nothing, uh, nothing dangerous, but this tries, it's like an um, artifact that I have performed in order to understand this kind of strategy because in this Senbyaku we will employ the trunk of a tree mm -hmm. and the branches around. Uh, Some of them they used to these branches be not and be maybe tied to one side in order to be with some tension, with some kind of torque. Mm -hmm. And when they release the torque, uh, 
uh, maybe the, the branch is hidden, goes and strikes on the samurai, strikes on the follower of this. Then the idea here is mm -hmm. the following. We will be, uh, you will be following me, okay. and the only thing that I will try to do, of course, this won't be Wouldn't here. Be right. I will be passing to this side, but I will release the rope, or right. release the mechanism, in order when you pass, I will be hidden here, this will go back, bah, and strike him. I will have this kind of weapon, that it's very, uh, very classical weapon from the season, that it's called uh, now, the idea is to have some kind of weight on the on the tip, and the other it's a rope. But this rope it's like a brassic because they pass with some kind of of brassic uh, liquid and have some glass or some uh, okay. uh, kind of sand right. because when these pass near the body, right. it's like cutting. Okay, right. then. Having this, maybe other one or or me by myself because I will have near of my of me this weapon. I will go by the side when you have found these rats, and I will sorry. I will pass to this side in order. I will move here to trap you. Okay. First of all, first of all to the to the branch, pass to the other side, move. Here and right now, I restrain you. I make some immobilization here right. because you are in that point. You will be very close to the to the to the tree to the tree, tree trunk, and of course, other one will stab you in the back, stab you in the face, or maybe you will be maybe uh, take you up like huh. being hung up. Right. Okay. This kind of method, it's what it's called, this is a basic pole for asamuku. But this asamuku will be employing also bamboo on the, on the ground mm -hmm. that will hit you. Also, I could employ by myself, I will release you in order to be more comfortable <laughs> and follow better the explanation here. Thank you. And uh, moreover, I could employ, maybe we have, we have this, Right now, but of course, if I employ some kind of bow, that it's not the bow idea, it's like a bamboo, that it's more classical. Right. But the, the bow is with the bamboo, it's on this stake, it's on that side, and when I am right now, you are following me, I do this. Bah! You ah. strike yourself to this. Another one, another one, will go to the side in order to restrain you with this bamboo, with this stake. This is the basics, the origins of this method. But this method covers some, a, a lot of the strategies. The most interesting for me are the ones that I employ the turning of the tree trunk right. in order to find some kind of, how to explain, to uh, improvise movement. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, I will do in this in this area because it will be easier to show you. If you are following me, okay, by my side, I turn the tree, and right now, when you are, I, uh, I stop and stop only for the camera purpose here. We will do it the other way because it will be easier, maybe. If you are following me, I am running, and right now here, I stop on the on the bench around in order to offer some kind of, mm -hmm. of, 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 of kisaki, right. some kind of, of edge in order to stab you on this circumstance because right. of course you are trying to run. This is only em employed when the, uh, when, the, uh, when the forest is crowded right. of these uh, vegetables, of these of this plants. Yeah, yeah. Coverage. Okay. We could do it with very, very interesting method in different situations. I will now take the Yaito in order to explain you very characteristic points on this. This is employed for the Sisa. When they are running away, when they are running away, they used to employ this kind of tree on these circumstances. For example, if you are following me, mm -hmm. one more time, running on my back, I will do the following. I will use here to make this 
situation, this position, that it's called heavy no kamai, that is like the snake position. Okay. I will draw having this here Hi. because I am hidden on the tree. They used to perform this maybe hidden on the on the on the high grass on the high process and these things. I'm making the, the cover being covered by the by the tree trunk and all that uh, maybe stones and maybe these things because they usually uh, do in that way. Hi. They were hidden. And when the samurai were coming, maybe following other of the sisa, they only being like covered by the, the high brass and from here, stay uh, here in order and being also supported by other kind of stones or on the, or, or the ground. And of course, this was very, very employed, especially on the night situations. I, I will explain other things that it's very, very interesting. Let's go to the center of this area because we don't need right now the tree. Okay. It's uh, understand. Okay. It's understood. You are going on my back and right now be very slow in order to explain this method. When you are following me, what I will do is I will stop employing all the uh, all the plants around okay. and trees and I will come right now changing back. If you are completely focused on following me, on catching me, because I am a rebel, mm -hmm. I am uh, uh, someone that you need to, to catch, and kill, or take to the justice, whatever, you are plainly focused on following me. Yeah. I am not giving my, my I, am, I am giving my back, I am giving my back. I am not turning, because if you turn, you prepare and you draw your sword. Right. But when you are close to me, when you believe truly that you come in, I stop. Right. And right here, I not only, yeah, impale, but not only stop, but also coming back. Right. When I perform this, when we are near a canyon or a concealed area, when the paths you are unallowed to go out, right. because if other samurai are coming on your back, you are. The, the samurai cannot see what is happening. Right. In the beginning, you were following maybe one rebel, and at the end, it seems that the first one has killed, but nothing happens. It's, it's standing up. What, what's happening? What's happening around? You know, because you cannot pass by the side, and of course, you fear what is happening. Right. And this is the idea for this Hasamuku. Right. And it's the second method that I have tried to explain today. I hope you like this one. Absolutely. Let's go to Momo Chidori. Momo Chidori means like all kind of birds. Oh, uh, this is uh, from the origin when the when some citizen uh, was in danger, surrounded by by several enemies, and uh, a scattering of birds came and all get confused, all get confused because the birds were passing to one direction to other and no one understood what was happening. Okay. The citizens take profit of the situation and, and uh, try to get away from that. When the scattering of birds disappeared, he was out of the circumstance, out of the situation. Then this was the origin, but they see that uh, for performing in a right way, uh, the deceit, you need to generate like some kind of illusion. That is the main principle on on this uh, on this method. Then they used to employ uh, kami like paper, uh, broken uh, tear mm -hmm. in a small pieces with several colors and several uh, maybe. Uh, bright, some of them, dark, some of them, in order to generate on the air like a wall of confusion. And this is called momo, momo chidori. This dori is for birds. Okay. Then uh, we have here some confetti. This is not the, uh, the, in the most classical, but we decided to employ that because this is very close to the, right, to the origins of this. Then the idea is to escape from surrounded situations or uh, uh, threatening situations that you need to uh, be 
away of that. Of course, you could employ in order to hide a tanto, to hide some kind of weapon and kill the enemy, depending on the circumstance, because this uh, belongs to a broad study regarding the study of, uh, of Kankyo Jutsu, is to say, you won't behave at the same way if you have one enemy in front, one in front, another in the back, or you are surrounded by fifth, uh, five enemies, it's different. And I will take some of these, of these papers on my, on my fist, mm -hmm. on my palm, here, and I will try to perform this kind of strategy here. Of course, I will have this in a, maybe some kind of, of artifact or pocket here, and when we, you are maybe surrounding me, maybe here, what I will do, it's only, I don't have to throw in the face. This is for sand, this is for some kind of poisonous, mm -hmm. uh, or poison, but this is not, this is only to generate a confusion around you. Then it's better to do it in a point you have control, because the other don't know if you are throwing some kind of sand in the eye, right. the idea is to get confused. Then when I do it in that way, I became here and attack. Why? Because when the papers are flying away, are falling down to the ground, if you have a close look, you will see that uh, it seems like several attacks around. Right. This is like this scattering of birds around you that you get confused of what was happening. The idea is that you don't know. If you don't know if I am throwing some kind of, maybe, uh, or maybe you are attacking by some uh, archers around you, Maybe you don't see because this is since because if I am um, if I am smooth with the movement, maybe protecting me my throwing, you don't see what was happening. And maybe I try to escape, but at the same time when you try to come by me, I have please try to come here. I stab with a knife on my left hand or something like that. Then this is the main explanation for Momo Chidori, but of course. The circumstances, the situation, the way to behave is something that you will need to, uh, to study under the country you to this okay. supporting uh, study. Okay? Then, after this, let's go to the final one, the fourth one, That's that it's called Ukuisu. Ukuisu is like Rossignol. Yeah, Rossignol. Do you understand? No. Rossignol is this, this uh, bird that it's uh, like. Singing, uh -huh. you know, it's rushing up. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, nightingale. Nightingale too. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay, the nightingale. That's that's true. The nightingale. It's uh, this kind of uh, method. It's something that uh, it's a method that you will employ the sand. You will employ the what's around you. Some kind of of the earth in order to generate uh, these guys to generate some kind of deceit. Then, in this, for example, if you are in front of me, for example, and I am defeating you with a sword in front of me, maybe you have the sword too, and you are trying to threaten me, and of, I will be taking you the attention and carrying you to the place I want to be. Right. It's to say, remember what I have explained about the canyon, Remember what I have explained about a, a, about a concealed situation. Maybe I am in a bird circumstance and I am taking out the attention because this is the point you want to, to stay right. and I am moving to the place I want to stay. As you are trying, I, I am not trying to kill you. Right. In fact, it's you that you are wanting to kill me or you want to catch me. Right. Then I move backwards and at the end what I will do is to stay here. I will take some kind of sand, some place that maybe is here, and from here I will throw in the head and at the same time I will stab or I will of course stab by the other hand. And this is what it's called the Ugrisu, that is the nightingale as you have told. So the employment of the sand, the employment of the of the earth uh, for this kind of situation that you are taking the enemy to the place you want to be. This is the last one. I hope you have enjoyed. I don't know if you have any absolutely. doubt. No, no, absolutely. I, I like the, the, uh, 
application of entrapment, yeah. of allowing the opponent to follow me to a situation that's more dominant for me to, based on his own e eagerness to, to win. Yeah, it's nice. It's a very nice, a very good method. This is why it's in Okuden graduation. Right. And it's one of the most kept studies, more secrecy studies mm -hmm. on our tradition. Then uh, it's a pleasure to bring all of you watchers, followers of our channel. Hope you like it. And uh, we will be offering you more studies, ideas, uh, and offerings from our, from our tradition to you very soon. Thank you very much and enjoy Nelson's son studying here in Valencia.